Very welcome here to MW Hiremoor Park. Um, an evening we'll all be waiting for, but then the, um, joined by end of lines here. No introduction to this. The Lee Shopping Centre Senior Hurling Final of 2020. And um, we don't have name out both teams, and we're going to start with the Boris and Austria Kilcotton team. Owen Fleming is in goal. The full back line Stephen Finan, Enda Parlin, and James St. Patrick. Half back line Patrick Whelan, Matthew Whelan, and Niall Coss. Midfield, named as Conor Kilban and Dean Carey, names there number 18 coming in instead of Stephen Dunphy. Half forward line, Aaron Dunphy, Joseph Campion and Colm Stapleton. Full forward line, Derek Quinlan, Neil Foyle and PJ Scully. Clock Ballacolla team in goal, Cahal Dunn. The full back line, Dermot Conway, Darren Maher and Owen Doyle. Half back line, Brian Corby, Michael McAvoy, Lee Clear. Willie Highland and Aidan Corby midfield, Robbie Phelan, Jordan Walsh and Mark Hennessy, half forward, Stephen Bergen, Willie Dunphy and Stephen Maher, the full forward line for Clock Ballacollar. As we said, tonight's referee is Parik Dunn from Colt, standby referee is Anthony Sabler at Downey Earl and also Alan Doherty from Castellown. As we go along and the first point of this game comes... It was a free to, po- to Barcel Cotton, but they actually pulled it along the ground and gave it to PJ who probably put it over. He put it over from play, he'd have probably put it over from the free, so game on. Can not come from me happy that because they've taken the free from where the ball landed after Willie got a little reminder that he's in the county final from there and Picky puts it straight over the bar and a point each just just nearly three minutes gone in this game now so both teams will go to the ground Lee um, he's getting back up again they'll be delighted to know drops back to Matthew Matthew wheeling in long goes inside to Colm Colm Sapelin tried to go around two players comes back to the middle pops it across here um, out comes their number 17 and that's um, Aaron Dunphy that's Aaron Aaron Dunphy yeah um, that's what we're talking about seeking inside um, Stephen Bergen came out for it puts it across in front there to Jordan Walsh Walsh now is heading off pops it out to the left unmarked um, Hennessy um, can rebound the back off him there comes out to Picky Mar and Picky um, does make no no problem to Picky, he, he early, picked it off. Early every player <laughs> no, puts it on, goes back, goes in along the ground, comes out to Picky. He got nice space to so try, darts one way, left way, leaves his man on the ground, knows he has the space, knows he has the time, and um, nails that one over the bar. Um, well done, Picky, good score. Yeah. Um, but you see, when he gets it, he's just seen is there something on, he'll go left, he'll go right. If there's no goal on or there's no chance, ping it over the bar, go, well played, Picky Mar. Tackled by two bursts, Oscar Cotton, but he gets over them puts it out but it breaks again to Boris Oscar Cotton and they have a shot for going to drop the call down goes over Aaron his Dunphy. head Aaron Dunphy again um, and I, again that experience of Aaron yeah we saw yeah. Aaron get off to Dunphy to get that he gets away from his man after he cut that co- puck out now inside to Willie Willie Dunphy turns around goes by one two men he pops by them chasing him is end of Parlin still Willie Dunphy goes to shot a great save um, great save by Owen Fleming but he had to be on the ball there and he did he? yeah but Park did the right thing what Park done did there was when he was fouled he, he put up his hand for advantage so he let Willie go inside and see, get his shot away if it was a goal he'd have given the goal yeah. um, as we can see in the replay here um, but it's actually I think is that a great and save they're coming back out again and Lapin asked the Willie Dunphy this evening he's nearly getting every ball that's coming down but he's doing well with him putting his side there and this is danger as Picky tries to go around his man held up can he get the shot off um, he does and that's an, an excellent score there just got it inside the, the left hand yeah, upright end uh, yeah that's the um, ball to um, Mark Hennessy Hennessy across here Willie Dunphy's underneath it for Clark Balacan lovely control by him and pops it back outside again comes back here to Robbie Phelan Robbie will he score this time Robbie does um, well controlled by Willie Dunphy back out to Robbie Absolutely. there good off his stick um, as they go on but it's broken down well by Patrick Whelan um, breaks to the clock by the column and, and that's uh, Bergen Bergen trying to play it and it goes here to Robbie Phelan Robbie Phelan with shot and Robbie Phelan with the goal and um, that came from um that came from persistence by Clock Balacala um, as Stephen Bergen, I think, rooted that out Absolutely. without the hole in his hand and um, they, they capitalised, Robbie Field. Well, what I was talking about earlier was I was saying there was space in there and I felt if it was a goal, it was that side in the way it's on out. it. Comes out here to Picky. Picky Mar now blocked up again, won't panic, puts it across to Jordan Walsh. Walsh has uh, Robbie Field and suddenly he decides to go himself, gets space, um, goes along and um, that's, that's an score. excellent score. And I tell you that was very well worked because that's in their square they had to work it out you must remember uh, Owen Doyle Jim O'Connor uh, Brian Corby they worked the ball out all inside um, clock well collar hurling very well Owen Fleming goes straight out to his player that was a better one for him and um, it comes back to Matthew um, Matthew has a go at it and um, 
if and this is a great thing down battle match of wheeling just shows him he can still do it better than anyone he when he's when his man just gets one <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, it's really the time to step up isn't it yeah so great score match the goals but waiting for it there is mick mack mack but it drops outside now burst the cotton got away they're on the way they're on the go here that's number 17 from great shot great save by call done excess save mick mack picks it up and they clear it out comes out to brian carby um, but for young Carl Dunn, that was a great save, and there wasn't ah, a time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe how much injury time there is, but it's 29 and a half minutes gone. So, old Fleming goes out. Aaron Dunphy is underneath it. Aaron Dunphy does get get it now. He's gone. He's heading off now. A little bit of space in front of him. Big Mac was gone. Decides to take the shot himself. Does he score that? He does. Excellent score, Aaron Dunphy. And just what they needed, and uh, badly wanted that one there yeah, at that time. If you look, if you look at the, if you look um, at both, Dan Fitz is in. Dan Fitz is in for. Um, Conor Kilban, we're not sure what happened, but he's still over there seeking attention on the far side. PJ Scully turns and takes, and PJ Scully makes no no problem with that. And um, even though Lee Clear is trying to wave it wide, um, I'm not sure. Um, I think that although Alan Doherty is going into uh, that may or may not be a score. Porrick is going so back in here for a second, yeah, lads. I know yeah. they've called half time, but I think Porrick is going back in. They may signal this. He asked them to. He's going to discuss it with them. It's given. Yeah, and um, and in fairness to Parik, he he's put his there his own I mean, again goes long again. Aaron Dunphy certainly under from his own team, but that breaks again. To um, the, the goal scorer Robbie Feeling, Feeling goes along, drops it, was able to pick it back up again. Be close to mark, but but he gets away. Robbie Feeling again. Could he get a second goal? Has he that in his mind? He decides to go for the point, and that's the next score. And um, Robbie Feeling has been the turn in her side for most of this game, and then he has. With the you know, um, and that's the first one there. Oh, let me put that out to Staple, and now Bursasik Cotton bearing down a goal there. Aaron Dunphy, Dunphy with the score, and um, Dunphy yes with the score, and. Um, that was a great answer again. So they're yeah. really keeping in touch and all they the time. Are, and he's looking very dangerous, Aaron Dunphy. The more they need to get him on the ball, more he, and he catches that. A fantastic catch, and he gets away from his man. Two or three on ahead, him. Lovely ball across there. Who's coming in there? That's um, Jordan Walsh. Jordan Walsh tries to go to the middle. Across it comes to young Hennessy. Hennessy back out to Willie Dunphy. Willie does block, breaks to Hennessy again. Hennessy tries to go to the ground. Willie Dunphy gets it again. Willie really puts fun. it over the bar and. Um, they eventually got the score that um, they might have got a couple of seconds earlier, but well, still they yeah, all count. But they're all trying to sniff out. There's no problem with that as long as you come away with a score that to do an awful lot of hurling, but great touches from all players involved and a brilliant point to, to, to finish, this, to so finish Patrick, the move. Patrick Whelan got it, comes back to Daniel Fitzpatrick, comes out in here to Niall Koss. Koss turns around, has a go, has a shot. He seems happy enough with it, when he is, rightly so. Um, He's having a good look at this. He's hanging it up. There's only one thing on PJ's mind, I'm sure. And that's he goes a great effort at it. And that's fantastic score again. Um, absolutely copybook stuff. And if you're a young lad watching in... He just know. needs to move the feet. And then he was fine. Here's Willie Highland on this dead ball. Willie looks up and Willie Dunphy's inside. That's a cut that's just not travelling, but he's got the height. And Willie Dunphy came out and it was beautifully. It was like a training room. A training pitch move um, has that worked ah, out for him it has indeed um, and I just Willie Dunphy again you know what I mean yeah, lethal insider now, in who's going to win this one it drops inside and uh, onto this on the breaking ball is picky he's trying to get space and stuff he does he jinks around goes to the right gets the space well able a great swing on the hurl and um, straight over the bar yeah to get the scores easier down there underneath it, um, so too has broke to nicely to Robbie Robbie Phelan, Phelan turns, gets space, takes a shot, and that's over the bar. And um, again, from that side end uh, there, he's going on there, and out comes, um, that's uh, Bergen, and Sapel on a great shot, a massive save by Carl Dunn again, um, has to be said, fantastic save by him, but that was danger again, from as they break out now, Robbie Phelan again, they're heading off, the crowd are getting the, up, the voice is up as it drops a play to Willie Dunphy, Dunphy now trying to make space, of goes to the right, and that is a fantastic score from Willie Dunphy, but what about a save from Carl Dunn? Yeah, and, and Barska Cotton worked it really well, and Colin Stapleton knew they have to Puts do it. Puts it out, Picky didn't get it, but but um, Jordan Walsh does, Jordan Walsh goes to the left, has space, Pucks it on and a great score by Jordan Walsh over the bar and he salutes the crowd and cheers. They, they really they have to be more intelligent with the ball that's coming in. Uh, Joe Campion now needs to generate a score here. And Joe Pampkin gets away from Lee Clear for once this tonight and uh, now on, nonchalantly just drops it over the bar and tackled there by Patrick Whelan and Bergen gets the better, picks it up 
Um, got a little touch on it, tries to make space from him. That's lovely. Um, skill from Stephen Berg is still trying to make space from him. He goes for the shot. Um, that'll be a fantastic score if it is. And that's what it is. And, uh, and um, put it back in there on the danger zone. Neil File is under. He can't get touched and he drops into his hands. Neil goes to the ground. He's looking for the penalty. It's, uh, he's trying to get it. It pops out and the penalty is given. Um, and uh, the penalty is given to them. Uh, uh, it, yeah, it, it probably fell into his hands. Yeah. This is critical. Um, and they all are, but PJ is going to have a go. His bends, picks, strikes, and buries it in the top uh, right hand corner. A great score by PJ. And, 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 and they um, both actually knew where they're putting it because Cahill Dunn is a backhanded hurler, which means yeah. it's hard to get a ball to that side. Cahill knew he wanted to put it that side, did his best to get it up there, but the speed of the ball from PJ, a brilliant penalty. We saw it last night. A brilliant the man penalty. has played really well there tonight. That whole half back line is super. And they double on it again as Parik Dunn blows full time in the 2020 final. And the winners are Clock Balakala and a great delight for them on a scoreline of one goal and 22 points to a goal and 17. It's broken down well by Patrick Whelan. Um, breaks to the clock by the column and, and that's uh, Bergen. Bergen trying to play it on a goal here to Robbie Phelan. Robbie Phelan was shot and Robbie Phelan with the goal. And um, that came from... Uh, drops it was able to pick it back up again. Be close to the mark but, uh, but he gets away. Robbie Phelan again. Could he get a second goal? Has he that in his mind? He decides to go for the point. And that's the next score. And um, 